uh, material resources that we have. And yet, look at where uh, they are today. They moved from being a developing country at the end of Second World War. By 1945, by all indices, Japan was a developing country, by all measures. But they moved from there to be the second largest economy before uh, China overtook them. They are number three today. So, and they don't have all these uh, natural resources which we have. They import from other countries, but instead of importing uh, finished products, they import raw materials and use science and technology to convert those uh, raw materials into products, into services, in a very competitive manner, so that they can now export and compete with countries that uh, you know have these uh, resources. So we are even uh, at an advantageous position because should we, which it's 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 I mean it, we don't have any option really. Should when we now continue this journey, you know, to move into a knowledge-based economy that is innovation-driven, you will see that you know because we have the raw materials, we're going to move faster. So by 2019. What is the goalpost about? Uh, I, I believe there are a number of things that we are bringing in, which I, I hope that by 2019, although 2019 is so soon, because you know uh, 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 research and innovation, they don't go that way. All right, bring it's us up to speed with the m number of things we ought to be expected. You know, we are doing well in uh, protecting intellectual property. When I came in 2015, November, precisely November 11, 2015, I had less than seven weeks. And the intellectual property that uh, were patented through NOTAP, NOTAP is the National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion, is one of the 17 agencies that the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology uh, supervises. Now, the, that number was six only six patents in 2015. But by 2016, it grew to 16, more than double what it was a year earlier, 2015. By last year, the number shot up you know, to 50, which is more than three times. So, and the, there is no other measure. You can ask anybody. It's, it, patents will give you a clear picture of the level of uh, inventiveness, creativity, innovation that is going on in a nation. So we are making progress. But the only thing I would like to uh, uh, let our, my fellow Nigerians uh, to understand is that, unlike in quite a few other sectors, uh, science and technology is not something that you, know, you can say, OK, yes, you, know, you do this by next year. And because when you start a research, mm. you may end up <laughs> not getting the result that uh, you, know, you want at that time. You may have you know, even failures. But failures you know, shouldn't stop you because it's just telling you what you shouldn't do again. Do you think you're doing enough to encourage young people? Because, I mean, given the, the quality of education right now and the level we have uh, attained, which is not too impressive, are you doing enough to encourage them? We are, we are trying. Uh, we, we, we need to do more in that area because, uh, really, the future of the nation depends on our young people. And one good thing is that Nigeria essentially is a young nation, mm -hmm. not because we're only 100 plus you know, years, no, but because in terms of demography, you know, uh, the bulk of Nigerians are young people, whereas many of the developed countries are already aging. Uh, they have very large percentage of their population, you know, people who are maybe 60 and above. Uh -huh. So you, you find that we have to find a way to make sure that we utilize the enormous human resources that we have. And uh, I've been going around really, you know, trying to encourage young people to take to mathematics, you know, to science, to engineering. Mm -hmm. And I believe that these things take time. But ultimately, we will get there. Well, thank you very much. I must thank you very much for your time, Dr. Obunaya Onu, for coming on Dateline Abuja. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for your emails and tweets as always. Uh, keep sending in your views and comments using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also, be sure to share anything happening within your locality. Now, don't forget you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuke. See you again.